What's up, Ada Nation? Welcome to Dapp Central, your home for everything blockchain and crypto. My name's Fareed. As a part of today's video, we're diving into Epoch 507, which we've just successfully transferred into kicking off governance in the official age of Voltaire on Cardano. Now, jumping right on in here, we've got a perfect graphic coming in here from Stake with Pride, SPO and contributor here to the Cardano network. With the seven Genesis keys officially burned, we've got the power in the community's hands. Um, this literally just took place not too long ago. We're only just a handful of blocks into Epoch 507, the official hard fork taking place as soon as we broke into that particular Epoch's boundary. The DAP stake pool has already minted two blocks um, in this brand new era here. And of course, again, if you would like to show your support, make sure to go ahead and consider delegating with the official DAP central stake pool. But diving, you know, just a little bit deeper into Chang, um, we heard from Charles Hoskinson. There was a fully dedicated X or Twitter space going on with the Intersect MBO, and they basically had a, a huge audience, right, going into this brand new era, of course, again, which is decentralization and governance. Now, keep in mind, actions can't actually be proposed just yet. This just bootstraps everything that we need in order to set us up for the second upgrade. Once that second upgrade takes effect, that's when fully run community governance will take effect, and anybody at that point who holds ADA can propose anything to the greater network. So do keep that in mind. Um, we do have a pretty cool update here that was just released by the team at Endmaker. And so they're actually minting out um, commemorative NFTs here for completely free. So if you are um, by a computer or you just maybe have a couple of spare minutes you can spend, definitely take the opportunity to go ahead and mint one of these. It just makes, you know, the experience that much sweeter. You'll be able to take a look at this NFT a couple of years from now and be able to say that you were there when Cardano became one of the most decentralized blockchains there is out there. So it states here that Chang Hot Fork is a huge milestone for Cardano. With it, we're officially entering the age of governance. To celebrate this milestone, we've got a Voltaire themed NFT that you can mint for completely free. There's a couple of different variations for it here. So it looks like about four or five there in total. I've already minted mine. Um, again, no additional ADA. I think you might have to like pay, you know, half an ADA or something like that for the transaction fee, but that's really it. One thing I do want to quickly pivot and highlight is the fact that there has been a minor, minor hiccup here. Nothing to worry about, but if you are a node operator, it looks like there's been a issue um, highlighted or at least um, picked up by the Intersect MBO with respect to the ledger state snapshots. So this requires a hotfix in order to prevent longer syncing times in the event that your node goes offline, you've got to reset it. So do keep that in mind where it states that nodes restarted within 14 hours after the chain hard fork um, should not be impacted. Any nodes that are restarted before that particular timeline will require a replay from Genesis. And then a hotfix um, is currently in preparation due to be released in the coming hours to make sure that anybody who has to restart doesn't have to suffer from the from the longer um, sinking times. So again, pretty smooth here. Um, there were some minor, minor um, DAP outages. I know Dex Hunter was one of the few here, obviously one of the bigger platforms when it comes to swap trades in volume on Cardano, they te temporarily went down. We saw EUTXO go down for about 15 to 20 minutes. Same thing with Cardano scan. C Explorer had no issues whatsoever. And then varying wallets appear to just uh, be having different sort of reactions. So this will definitely be um, an interesting couple of days where people have to work out the kinks and anybody who didn't upgrade will still need to upgrade in order to stay compatible or to stay up to date with the ecosystem as it's moved into this brand new era. So if I quickly jump over to Cardano scan, what I do want to check on is just the total number of pools that I've actually updated. Because again, even though the majority of the stake was ready, the majority of pools were not. So as you guys can actually see here, we have 1,200 pools which have already upgraded to Cardano node version 9.1.0, but we still have 60% right, of pools that have not yet upgraded to that particular version. So what does this actually mean? Well, it means that there's now going to be a lot more blocks available for anybody who has upgraded to mint, um, given the fact that anybody who hadn't upgraded won't be able to mint, I believe, in this particular epoch or um, from this time moving forward into chain. So if you are delegated to stake pool, make sure that they've upgraded. Again, the DAP Central stake pool has officially upgraded. We've already minted actually two blocks here um, on this particular epoch, again, entering into chain. 
Let me see if I can actually quickly pull those up here. So we've got the DAP Central Stake pool. And as we can see, Epoch 507 marking the brand new era. And we've already got three blocks minted. I am noticing that this particular Epoch has an abnormally high amount of blocks allocated to it for the DAP Central Stake pool. Um, but again, that's probably due to the fact that a lot of other operators did not upgrade. Therefore, we're not assigned blocks in this particular epoch. And as more transition, we should hopefully fall back into our normal cadence when it comes to number of blocks available for minting. Again, um, a huge celebratory opportunity here or a huge celebration, I should say, within the Cardano ecosystem. Charles, IOG, Emergo, the Cardano Foundation, finally able to take their hands off of the wheel and let the official community drive. Again, make sure to get involved with governance. I'll leave links to everything related to governance down below, but just want to take an opportunity to thank the community um, for their support here on my channel. And then just also want to thank all the builders for getting us to the point that we have so far in Cardano's trajectory. I think that we're still early, as crazy as it may sound. Um, it's been, I think, well over 10 years for Charles and IOG that have been building a lot of this foundation, but we're now at the point of maturity where the community can step in, take over, and really guide this into what we think best fits the world's needs and best fits or resolves the world's current issues. That will do it here for today's update. Again, don't want to let this get too long. Just want to jump on here and let everybody know that Chang has been successful and that, um, again, everything does appear to be working as expected so far on the main net. If you enjoyed any part of today's update, I would appreciate you if you could smash that thumbs up. If it's your first time stopping by and you want more content like this, consider subscribing. And last but not least, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave those down below. That said, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next